Okay guys, so far so good. In this other tutorial, we want to look at uh, three more built-in functions and uh, I think we can stop there. And these built-in functions are concerned with dimensions of arrays. So uh, we've been seeing one in particular before, but uh, there are others that are more effective in other scenarios. So let's say we have a matrix A we've been using uh, as usual. The matrix A here is of dimension 4 by 4. Okay, Many times we want to retrieve this particular information for various purposes. So to know the dimension of a particular matrix, we'll use the built-in function size. Okay, So all we need to do is say size of A. And that should give us a 4 by 4 matrix. So let's try to change the dimension of that A just to be sure that we are saying what is right. Okay. So if I create a matrix, say 4 by 2, okay, and I say size, size of A, that gives me 4, 2, okay. So the 4 here represents the number of rows and the 2 here represents the number of columns. Now, there are cases where I may want to have only the number of rows, okay. Of course, if I say F, for example, is equal to the size of A, the size of a the answer is given to me in a vector format okay so i have four here and i have two so f is a vector that, con that, that contains uh, the dimensions of the matrix a in this case if i want to know only the number of rows i can always say f of f of one okay that should give me the number of rows let me just say number of rows new rows okay so that should give me four and uh, if I want number of columns, I can say num columns. Uh, this is not this is not a formula, by the way. It's just uh, uh, variables that I'm creating. And f of two contains that particular value. Okay. But to be more effective, there is a different way of using the size functions, which enable us to get those values very easily. Okay. So. Let's clear the screen and recall A. So that's A, okay? If I want to get only the number of rows, I will say size of A, comma, first dimension, right? So that will give me only the number of rows. And the number of columns, I will say size of A, comma, 2. And that should give me the number of columns of the matrix A, okay? Which is 2 right there. Good. Um, when it comes to vectors, when it comes to vectors, and remember, vectors are one-dimensional arrays, right? They have either only one row or only one column, okay? So, I'll say V is equal to Randy of, and let's create a particular vector here, mm, 10, uh, I'll say 5, comma 1, why not, okay? So, when it comes to a vector, I already know that one of the dimensions is equal to 1. It's either the row or it's, equal, or it's either the column. So, size will always work. Eh? No, matter, even if, no matter if it's a vector or, or, uh, or a matrix, size will always work. It will give you 5 by 1. Okay? But in the case of a vector, many times I don't want to know. Uh, I'm not interested in knowing uh, the size per se. Many times in vectors, you want to know the number of elements in the particular vector because the number of elements in a particular vector will give you the dimension of the vector somehow because if it is one-dimensional, it implies we need just one value to characterize the vector, okay? So, for that, you don't need to use size. All you need to do is length of V, okay? And the length of V should give you the number of elements in the vector. So, if I have V... Length of V is 5, and this is my V, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? And it doesn't matter, let me say B is equals to, it doesn't matter if V is a, is a row or a column vector. The length function will always give you the number of elements in a particular vector correctly, okay? But to close this particular video, what if we want to know the number of elements in a matrix, okay? 
one way we can go about this is uh, to get the size of the matrix. Let's go back to A, please. So A here, for example, is four, one, that is one, two, three, four, one, two, right? You know the number of elements. We just need to say four times two, right? That gives us eight elements overall, right? Four, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So one way I can go about that is just to say size of A, okay? Which will give me, let's store that again in F. Which will give me F. Okay, and I can use the prude function. Prude is a built-in MATLAB function that, do, that uh, multiplies all of the elements in a particular vector together. Okay, just as sum is another MATLAB function that sums up all of the elements in a vector together. We shall be seeing these functions when we will be trying to program them, okay, using uh, for loops and while loops ahead. So, uh, let me say prude of f, it will multiply 4 by 2 to give me a particular answer, which is 8. So, the way I can know the number of elements in the matrix is to say prude of size of that particular matrix, okay? These are these two steps that we just did. These two steps that we just did here, this one and this one in one line, right? And that should give me 8. But this is too long, right? It is too lengthy. MATLAB has already thought about this particular dilemma for us. And uh, it proposes us a function known as NUMEL. NUMEL, which stands for number of elements, okay? That gives us just that, the number of elements in a particular array. So if you say NUMEL of A and press enter, that should give you 8, okay? So uh, these are the three useful functions for dimensions that we wanted to see in this particular tutorial. So that's great. From uh, next tutorial, we are entering a new, new zone in index in arrays, I've already said it, which is indexing. Okay, so uh, see you in the next tutorial.